you know, Bert and I, we, uh, we, we kind of, you know, we didn't get along really great. And I said, after years went by, I realized, and of course now we're, we're, we're buddies, and, uh, and I realized that, you know, he's just one of the classiest, uh, greatest composers of, of all time. Uh, but back then, you know, I was kind of this punk from Houston, Gene, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and he wasn't. You know, he was a very sophisticated uh, guy, and, uh, but he did admit to me years later that, uh, you know, he thought my version was, uh, was the best, and, of course, I had his, I had his first gold record, and uh, they'd had a bunch of hits on, uh, on Dion, but this was the first one that went gold. And, and I understand uh, uh, that Raindrops is uh, his favorite song of all the songs he's, uh, he's written. Uh, uh, he's been quoted. Well, now as, the logical segue would be for you to sing Raindrops, but yeah, that's not what it says on no, the sheet. That's, yeah. that's not what it says. But, you know, everybody's tired of Raindrops anyway, oh. except me. <laughs> except me. Oh. <laughs> But I, but I love I love uh, I love raindrops. I love the whole experience. I finally I got through the, you know, the soundtrack deal, and uh, you know of course Bert was was furious uh, at me because you know I, the guy from 20th Century came up to me and says uh, uh, he said BJ has a really a good idea. You're trying to sound like Paul Newman singing, and I went y yeah you know, <laughs> and, uh, and so I was pretty I was pretty ragged, uh, but we did recut it about eight weeks later. And that's when he had done the tag, and I kind of put that little Buddy Holly thing on the end, and and uh, that's been the all-time, you know, greatest thing that happened to me, other than uh, I'm so lonesome, and and in '64 I cut Billy and Sue here, and uh, you know I've worked with all, all of, most of the producers I worked with saw me as country, and of course now you know they did Billboard did a survey and uh, uh, of country songs, and and they said Raindrops was a, the fifth biggest country song of all time. So that's, that's how, where we are now. That's how far we've come, Earl. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, and they've all, all, all the guys I worked with, all the producers, they all saw me as country. Chips and, uh, and of course I worked with the, you know, the legendary Pete Drake and, and uh, he was just my, my heart, that guy, and uh, he saw me as country, and he, he told me, he said, B, I said, you know, I don't know if, if I should, because uh, the first country hit I had was Wrong Song, and that was uh, 75 after I'd been singing for years. And uh, he, I said, well, I don't know if I should try to go country, because I'd just been involved in, in gospel, and I was very, I was uh, just out of nowhere. I, I had the first platinum album uh, albums in uh, gospel music history, and it was a real surprise, and all of a sudden I was a big gospel singer. And, uh, it, you know, even though I, that stuff came, came from my heart, I didn't, uh, that really wasn't what I wanted to do, was just be a, you know, a religious singer. And uh, so Pete, I, actually I cut my first country album with Larry. Yeah. And we cut some really good stuff, but I think people were, they were a little, they weren't quite ready, oh. and we cut some really good stuff. And then I, I went in with Pete, and Pete said, you know, BJ, uh, you don't have to worry about what you do because uh, people who are country think you're country, and uh, people who are gospel think you're gospel, and he said people who are pop think you're pop. And that's been my, just my luckiest thing mm -hmm. is uh, I, I grew up with Top 40 Radio. I had no idea that Abilene was, was a country song. Uh, you know, it was a huge pop record to me, the number one pop record as far as I can remember. And... Uh, you know, so I just am kind of a child of the top 40 radio. And, uh, you know, I've just been very, very fortunate. And, and one of the things that are really important to me is, uh, is that I, um, is that, uh, I am, am accepted in a way by you guys. That means a lot to me. And, and I've got a lot of love here for everybody in this room and, and I would have been right with uh, Dan there I'd have paid good money to to see the Vince Gill sing uh, sing that thing he just sang and that was uh, the the absolute most wonderful thing I've ever seen uh, in my career and in my life so I just feel like this is the place I ought to be right here sing a song for us Now, where were we? <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, I cut this song with uh, Chips Bowman. Hold it for me, honey. Sure. Let me stand up here because... 
This one's got to have a high note in old, it. So, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't have any high notes, but I, I just have a hard time singing sitting down. And especially at my age, I'm, I'm in, in road years, I'm 605 years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song I cut, to, it was another thing, kind of, a, it was at the end of, the, of an album uh, with Chips and the American Studio Group. And, uh, you know, we didn't know if we had a hit. And as it turned out, we did have, we did have a, um, a couple of little hits on there. But uh, Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil sent me uh, two songs. Uh, this song I'm about to do and then the one I should have done. <laughs> they sent me, here you, here you come again. And, uh, and, we, and Chips told me to pick which song. And uh, so I, this is the one I picked. I just can't help believing When she smiles up soft and gentle With a trace of misty morning And a promise of tomorrow in her eyes And I just can't help believing When she's lying close beside me and my heart beats with the rhythm of a sigh This time the girl is gonna stay This time the girl is gonna stay For more than just a day I just can't help believing When she slips her hand in my hand And it feels so small and helpless That my fingers fold around it like a glove And I just can't help believing When she whispered in her mouth and her tears are shining, honey, sweet with love. This time the girl is gonna stay. This time the girl is gonna stay for more than just a day. Today. I just can't help believing. I just can't help believing. No, I just can't help Two kinds of music, good and bad, and that's good. That's, good. that's really good.